Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it is I'm the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog here, and I'm of course back for some more if yet again for the likes of the Bugsy Toys videos. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Super Mario 64 DS for the Nintendo DS. So, last time we have managed to able to finish up the whole entire game by going through the last power star in the game while simply catching a whole bunch of rapids and also we did manage to beat Bowser for the final time and we managed to able to complete the whole game. So today for this episode, along with the forms of the entire week, specifically uh, four days in this week, uh, we're about to be heading on to the forms of uh, the mini games or what have you. But before we get into that, there's actually going to be some little uh, discussions I would like to point things out. It's that, yes, much like in Super Mario 64, the original, that you can able to actually mess around with the actual Mario's face, or this time around, though, we have Yoshi's face as well. But since this is on the Nintendo DS, this meaning about the fact that you can able to actually mess around uh, the touchscreen and stuff like that. And also, you can able to draw a picture in there as well. So, even then, though, if you want to mess about, then by all means, you can do that. So, even then, though, there was supposed to be able to actually have Luigi or Warrior in here, but because, well, due to limitations or something, I have no idea. But either way, though, you can able to actually just do... Uh, you know what I mean. And there's also the versus multiplayer, which all it does is it's basically you can able to actually play as uh, different colored Yoshis, and then basically you have to able to collect the most stars by the end wins. So, yeah, I think there are about five power stars in total, so if you get the most, then you win a point. But... If you couldn't tell already, because this is on the Wii U eShop version, this meaning about the fact that the multiplayer is unaccessible, because obviously with the forms of, uh, well, you know what I mean. So anyways, let's get into the actual main action, which is of course the mini games themselves. Obviously each uh, character, to be more specifically Yoshi, Mario, Luigi, and Wario, uh, these managed to got about 9 mini games each, so uh, that makes a grand total of 36 mini games in total. So we can expect we can able to actually just to play some of these. So although to be fair though, you will get to uh, each mini games uh, every time when you start the game for either Yoshi that you get two mini games to start with, or to be more specifically, you know what I'm saying. So anyways, for this video, we're gonna be hit on to the Yoshi mini games first. So obviously we're gonna be starting with the first one, which is. Right from the bat though, this is actually one of my favorite minigames in this game, which it appears to be uh, called Wanted. It's easy to get lost in a crowd, find the one who disappeared and touch him. There he is. So yeah, there's basically all you have to do is basically get out to find the real culprit that has been shown on the top screen. So in this case is the fact that we do need to find either Luigi, Wario, Yoshi, or Mario. So it's all randomized though, by the way. So uh, in fact, this does remind me of a similar thing for how it does it in Where's Waldo in uh, American release and uh, the UK uh, release is uh, Where's Wally. So if you probably know the idea about the actual like uh, find a real corporate or just a hide and seek kind of thing. So you can able to actually just to uh, look carefully on the bottom screen and that way you can able to tell where exactly where anyone else is. So uh, yeah, because this minigame is actually pretty fun in my opinion because either way though, not only because of the fact that well it gets a bit uh, challenging as you progress, but it's also it's kind of fun to able to endurance this. To be more specifically, if you're really good at the forms of this particular wanted mini game, then you can probably go up to like 100 levels or something, which it might be seems impossible to do, especially noticeable because normally until the later stages, that uh, it gets a bit tricky and difficult if you're trying to able to, you know, see what is going on, because most of the time, most of these faces can either be stand still or crowded, as you can see on level 13's case, that, uh, yeah, you're just gonna have to able to really concentrate hard, so because of that though, yeah, it's actually pretty fun though. Although, one thing I should probably point this out right away is that if you miss out on our, well, I don't know, suppose I ever tell you this, but, uh, basically, uh, if you ever played New Super Mario Brothers on the DS before, 
Uh, basically, some of these minigames were able to make a comeback in New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. Well, to be more specifically, this is one of them, Wanted, and there's also quite a few uh, minigames that will make a comeback, and some of them are actually being replacements by new ones, to be more specifically with, uh, well, let's just say, uh, Whack-A-Mole kind of minigame. That has been new in the forms of New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. Although, usually relatively speaking, that what makes the New Super Mario Bros. on the DS minigames somewhat bit more funner is that you can able to actually play that particular mode for up to four players. Well, uh, only if you're able to get the physical copy of New Super Mario Bros. So, yeah, you probably get the idea. Whilst this is only for single player distractions, so because of that though, yeah, there's not much else to tell. So, a uh, few things I want to explain about for this point today is the fact that obviously today's day is of course the 29th of March today, in this case in 2021. So recently, for those of you who lived in the UK, that uh, Disney Pixar's Soul has been came out on not only for the DVD, but also not only for the Blu-ray as well, but also 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray as well. So, yeah, that film has been came out recently on physical form, so that way you can able to actually finally get a chance to pre-order it without even requirements to able to actually see it on, well, some sort of like a Disney Plus subscription. So, even then though, in fact, let me know in the comments below for the question of the day. That's, uh, what do you think about the Soul film that has been recently came out ever since during... Well, ever since on the Disney Plus service on Christmas Day, back in a day in, well, obviously 2020, that, um, is it, uh, perfect? Or is it gonna be somewhat strange? But, um, still haven't seen the film yet, though, just because I got a lot of things to take care of. So, hopefully I'll get my chance to able to actually see it, for reals. So, either way, though, we can expect this much, so... And also another thing as well is that uh, this is going to be a very, very, very sad week because obviously we only got about, like, let's just say, uh, two days left, to be more specifically, for some of those uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, 35th anniversary items will no longer continue in shipping and stuff like that, which it might seem sucks. Like, to be more specifically, uh, you know, Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers Edition, and also Super Mario 3D All-Stars physical release. Although still, you will still able to actually get these as in second-hand condition if you're about to find one, which, uh, you know, you can either find it on... I think it's more specifically on eBay or CEX for those of you who lived in the UK, if it's any possibilities. And um, also, you know what I mean. But, uh, and also, same applies to the forms of... Uh, Although, unfortunately though, for the additional uh, downloadable uh, distributions that, uh, to be more specifically, Super Mario 3D All-Stars will be, uh, well, be gone. So, even though that might be seem sucks for those if you're able to actually just, well, you know what I'm saying. And, um, also, same applies to that Fire Emblem game that has been out for quite some time since, uh, December last year. And, uh... Oh, and finally, Super Mario Bros. 35, which is also going to be gone, so yeah, this is going to be something else this week. It is going to be something else this week. I mean, let's face it though, it's the fact that we're still able to actually be hyped about uh, more anniversaries coming up. Well, to be more specifically, the next anniversary from Nintendo is, of course, uh, the Legend of Zelda series. Even though, despite the fact that the, the Nintendo doesn't seem to announce... Uh, the 35th anniversary uh, stuff for Zelda just yet, most notably because of marketing strategy. So uh, I totally get that, especially noticeable because they really, really want to let the Mario celebration to be finished. So uh, at least that might be seems the case, which kind of continues that tradition, which uh, well at least ever since back in uh, well 2010 to 2011. And then 2015, all the way up to 2016 for sure. So, yeah, I think I might as well able to think about that. Oh yeah, and also the forms of Super Mario Maker online service, well, to be more specifically, create your own stages, will no longer be accessible too. Oh jeez, I totally forgot about that. And speaking of the forms of removable stuff, um... Basically, another one of those uh, games has been removed from the likes of, well, 
It's on the 3DS eShop, which appears to be body forms of Disney Art Academy, which uh, I believe that particular game is now removed from the 3DS eShop. So, well, at least you can still able to get the physical copy. So, yeah, this is pretty strange when it comes to Nintendo strategies nowadays, especially noticeable because, well, they obviously removed quite a few amount of stuff. So, yeah, that pretty much sums up for the sake of how the future points of Nintendo gets a bit stranger, so... And as you can see, I've managed to reach for about 50 stars, which is quite a lot, but I somehow am also able to lose on level 51, because, again, it makes things incredibly difficult, but at least I did that in a really, really good run. In fact, whenever I manage to play this on my own time, on my DSi, uh, um, on my Nintendo DSi and stuff like that, Jeez Louise, I got a lot of points, like 110 or something, so yeah, it seems crazy. Anyways, next up is Loves Me. Uh, play this mini game for advice on your love life. Uh, plug the pedals to find out um, how your crush feels about you. So, this mini game seems kind of feels like a waste of time, just because all you have to do is just basically you have to peck on pedals and stuff like that, and that's all you really have to do here, and uh, yeah, it's a bit of a waste of time for that mini game. Which I'm glad that mini game does not exist in uh, the new Super Mario Brothers game, but uh, it's just the fact the matter is though, it's there for the sake of distraction. But honestly, I just rather just able to actually just play any other mini games than this instead. Although I'm pretty sure you're able to get this from the start though, so uh, which I'm presuming that the wanted mini game along with uh, loves me. Uh, mini game for Yoshi, uh, you get those from the start. So, and then you do need to unlock the rest by simply finding a lot more keys from the likes of those bunnies to catch. So, next mini game, hide and boo seek. Rub the touch screen where the boos are hiding. For the first 15 levels, you get 3 seconds to find them. After that, you only get 2 seconds. So, Assuming if we're able to actually go from level 16 or higher, then it gets a bit difficult, so... Yeah, basically in this minigame, it's pretty simple. You're gonna have to find, you know, the booze in the bottom screen, and that's all you really have to do here, so... In fact, whenever when Luigi managed to hold up the flashlight, it almost reminds me of like a Luigi's Mansion vibe. Although, except the fact that, well, it doesn't usually take place in the forms of Luigi's Mansion or anything else like that. But instead, it takes place in Big Boo's hut, which, as you can see on the familiar background from the likes of the bottom screen, so... And I believe this minigame also makes a comeback in New Super Mario Bros. if I re remember this correctly, because I know for the fact that I haven't really touched upon uh, the minigames mode in uh, New Super Mario Bros. on the DS for quite some time, most notably because most of those minigames have been recycled, from the likes of the, uh, well, for this game is, so. But yeah, that's all I can say when it comes to the forms of several discussions to make. Although, one thing I totally forgot to mention about this, ever since in about a couple of parts ago, actually. Well, you know it's about the fact that Maxi has already mentioned about the forms of, uh, well, the second season of My Little Pony, Pony Life, is on its way until specifically next month. And, uh, well, at least in the UK anyway. But we still have no idea when the USA will be able to actually get Season 2 just yet. So, either way though, we'll have to wait and see what happens until next month. So, and yeah, the game is over if you don't find all, all of the booze in the stage. So, at least I did manage to go 5 points. So, that's fine by me. Even though I will try my best if I was going to aim for the highest score as much as I can. But uh, don't be too hasty though for my liking. So, next mini game is Puzzle Panel. Match the touchscreen picture to the top screen. Touch a panel to turn over the surrounding panels. Harder levels will take uh, more turns to solve. So, basically it's like a puzzle mini game and all that stuff though. But, however though, I will have to admit though right away, I'm pretty much bad at these games. Because most of the time, I couldn't exactly figure out what I'm supposed to do. Or to be more specifically, that I was... Haven't played on this for quite some time, but uh, hey, at least I did manage to solve one of them. So, uh, and I believe you only get like uh, three hearts to do this if you have several mistakes like this. So, is it 
this particular panel? Oh, close enough. And I'm presuming that, uh, well, it's not so much in this one, but um, I'm pretty darn sure that, well, again, it has been a very, very long time since I actually did manage to play these. Uh, specifically on New Super Mario Brothers, most likely. So because of that, though, I just have no idea of how I was expecting it to. So, uh, anyways, let's go in, and I messed it up completely. So, oh well, no big deal. At least I got about two stars. But then again, though, I was going to try my best if I was trying to aim for the highest score as much as I can. But most of the time, I just keep on getting screwed over sometimes. Anyways, next mini game is Boombox. Uh, each the you each time you open a treasure chest, you'll hear a sound. Open two chests with a same sound. What when by matching all the pairs? So basically, you're just gonna have to do like a, some sort of like a memory kind of thing. So and I believe you only get like uh, three hearts, just like any forms of how it does it in uh, well, to be more specifically, since uh, the puzzle panel kind of game. And if you do manage to find all of the pairs, then you move on to the next stage. And one thing I do like about this mini game, as well as the other one too, that uh, basically that uh, you see Mario's uh, face always do a lot of like reactions to this. Like it has like a ton of emotions right here, which I think is actually pretty cool looking. Even though no, it's kind of a shame that mini game will never come back in uh, New Super Mario Bros. on the DS. So. I'm guessing it's most likely due to the forms of, uh, well, for this particular minigame, does have some of these uh, familiar sound effects from Super Mario 64 DS, which I don't really think they're able to convert that to, uh, you know, new Super Mario Bros. sound effects and stuff. Oh boy, it's level 4 can get pretty tricky. Because I could definitely tell there are some uh, identical sound effects there, but the only difference has been is the actual... Uh, the sound tone I can able to try to listen to. But yeah, that's pretty much about it in terms of Boombox. It's actually a pretty cool mini game, aside from the fact that you do need to remember everything. So, Toxbox Shuffle. Oh no, Yoshi's trapped in the Toxbox. Find which one he's in to save him. So, yeah, basically all he's doing is basically he's gonna have to like, well, find one of those Yoshis trapped inside the Toxbox. And, uh, well, obviously, it kind of reminds me of a similar thing for how it does it on most, um, you know, shuffle kind of based games. To be more specifically, there was one in, uh, Shell Game for Mario Party 1, and, uh, as well as one of those segments in, uh, Mario Party 6, that's, uh, in, uh, Fair Square, that, uh, you would get, you get yourselves, like, multiple stars on that particular board. But, uh, either way though, all I have to do- Oh jeez, level 3 can get pretty insane. But I somehow messed it up, but, uh, again, I will try my best. So, uh, I guess that might begs the question. Um, is it- Oh, okay. At least I got that, at least. So, unlike the forms of how it does it on the other two mini games that we actually did done, uh, this time around though, we do have two hearts, uh, um, instead of three. So, yeah, that make seems a little bit more trickier than the, uh, the previous minigames for sure. And of course, much like in, uh, Boombox, that, uh, Mario's head is actually staring at the bottom screen. So, uh, yeah, that seems obvious. Alright, so I believe... Oh, at least I got the green Yoshi at least. So, how's that for that? Oh yeah, by the way, what if you move on to level 4 and onwards, they now um, added in the different colored Yoshi, to be more specifically, light blue Yoshi. So, uh, something's worth knowing for, especially noticeable how trickier it gets for some distractions, or just all about huge emphasis on concentration. So, either way, though, that usually seems the case. Well, at least I got that, surprisingly. And, um... Also, another thing that's worth noting for as well, that uh, apparently the Xbox Microsoft uh, managed to able to change the actual rebrand uh, slightly by the forms of Xbox Live to Xbox Network. So, I'm guessing they're trying to make it a little bit of a similar name from the likes of uh, Nintendo Network from uh, the Wii U slash 3DS era, or to be more specifically, the PSN Network from the likes of... Uh, well, 
PlayStation 3, PSP, PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5 era. So, yeah, it seems kind of strange to able to actually change that rebrand name. Although, I'm pretty sure the actual online functionality will still work, but uh, at least I hope so anyway, because I really, really refuse to able to actually let the Xbox Live Store will be uh, closed down, which uh, I'm really hoping that might not be, because even then, I'm still most able to actually enjoy my Xbox 360 most of the time, but... Um, at least I'm still really hoping to try to able to purchase, um, you know, Xbox Series X at some point in the future. Well, possibly by the end of this year, or in the mid portion of the year. I'm not exactly 100% sure, if only depending on the forms of, uh, any other Nintendo announcements they're about to bring us into, so, uh... But anyway, oh, at least I've got 11 points, that's actually not too bad. So, even I know that's the first page done, and now let's move on to the next three. So, in this case, the next one we have is Witch Wiggler. Touch the Wiggler on the touch screen that matches the one on the, the top screen. Choose carefully, though. He has a terrible temper. So, basically, uh, it kind of reminds me of the forms of uh, uh, Wanted minigame, except the fact that rather than just trying to find... Uh, the Mario characters' faces, so we have to be able to find the exact pattern of those regular segments. And if you do that, then you pretty much guarantee to be able to own a point. So, it's actually not too bad, actually, because otherwise you're going to have to do a lot of concentration as well. So that way you can definitely tell which patterns it is for those regular segments. So, and every once in a while until level 4, all the way up to onwards, that the Wigglers will actually start to able to move around slightly to make things a little bit trickier. So, uh, yeah, there's not much else I can honestly try to talk about, aside from the fact that we're, we're going to be able to play a uh, whole bunch of minigames to play through. So, because of that, though, and I think whenever we're done with all the minigames throughout in this particular game, then we can pretty much guarantee we can able to finish up this game by the time until at the very beginning of April. To be more specifically, April Fool's Day, which we're probably, probably not going to do the April Fool's joke at this point. Just because, well, I did manage to able to try one on, uh, in the past. Like, obviously we did done from the likes of Kingdom Hearts 3 April Fool's thing since 2017. But that didn't go well for my part, so... Yeah, I don't feel like trying to able to go for that stuff. And plus, because of how the fact that, well, I don't know what else to say for this point, I have to be honest here. But anyway, looks like we're doing so well here. Like, we got about 11 points so far. So I wonder if, oh, jeez Louise, how am I supposed to able to do this? And yeah, uh, you lose 10 seconds at each time when you, if you get the wrong wiggler. So yeah, I think I got about 11 points. Just like in that Toxbox Shuffle mini game. So, uh... Yeah, I guess that's gonna be alright for my book. So, uh, oh well, no big deal. Anyways, the next two mini games are, well, let's go for this one first. So, next up we have is Mix a Mug. Line up the slots on the touchscreen to form a face. Win more coins by matching the center face in the slots to the one on the top screen. So, in this case, the, uh, the first level we're gonna be hopping to is Luigi's face. Um, I will have to admit though right away, this minigame can get pretty tricky. Most notably because, not only is because of my timing skills is slightly off, but also because I'm usually playing this on the Wii U gamepad, this meaning about the fact that the touchscreen sensitivity uh, is not precise enough in my opinion. Although I would like to able to actually change up the actual uh, the recording setup, but uh, it might be seems a little bit awkward for my liking, so I'm not able to stuck with it, so... And yeah, you lose coins if you manage to able to get it wrong, so... Yeah, I think that was actually a... Let's see if I can get this. Ah, damn it, that was way too off for that timing. Huh, <sighs> I didn't get a single point at all. So I think I'm also able to try that again. But hopefully I would able to accomplish it, so... And this time we have the Wario's face now. Come on. Oh, really? Sometimes timing is so, so accurate. There we go. 
So yeah, if you do manage to get the actual face in, then you get yourselves the not only one point, but also you get some coins. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the sake of time. It's kind of a shame this minigame doesn't make a return in, uh, well, New Super Mario Bros. per se, just because, well, it's pretty obvious because of some of these uh, minigames have been replaced. But anyway, uh, it looks like we're not doing that great, aren't we? Oh, jeez. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Okay, that should be alright. There we go. Although, mind you, we haven't got that much coins, though, I don't think. Ooh, nice. We are getting there. So anyways, um, in level 4 and onwards, they're now able to actually add it in uh, more faces. To be more specifically, Princess Peach. And uh, eventually, they'll able to actually add in Bowser's face if you manage to able to continue things on. I'm not exactly sure about Toad's face though. But either way though, I uh, have no words to talk about. Although, we're actually getting slightly a bit rougher at this point, but uh, usually I'm just going to have to do this for a showcase, so... Ah, oh, damn it, I was way too off for that timing right there. And I was kind of underwhelming for that timing right there. Alright. Nah, it doesn't seem to look like it. Oh well, four points, I'll take it. And by the way, for that sound effect, when if you get a game over, that might be sounds familiar to you, because it is the exact same sound effect if you die in New Super Mario Bros. So, something's worth knowing for. Uh, puzzle Panic. This mini game takes the puzzle panel to a whole new level. Put on your thinking cap, you're gonna need it. So, yeah, this is the last mini game for the Yoshi selections of mini games, and, uh, yeah, this minigame is pretty much exactly like a puzzle panel, except, well, we got to solve larger amount of puzzles. So, this mini is going to be a lot more uh, harder than the forms of how it does it on uh, puzzle uh, panel. So, uh, if you get the thinking cap uh, going on, then you would able to do it, but seems to be more specifically, I did that pretty decently so far. So, uh... Yeah, speaking of Yoshis, actually, I managed to able to go back onto Mario Kart Tour recently, and turns out I'm onto the forms of the Yoshi Tour again. Which, ever since in last year, that we've already had the Yoshi Tour, but now we have it again, but now added in, uh, White Yoshi and Black Bodo. So, that seems kind of an interesting variant. So, yeah, I only got two points, so... Again, I'm not exactly a huge expert on certain puzzle minigames for sure, but I did things pretty decently, so 